Good morning, folks. So I have in front of me a bunch of fresh baked breakfast goods. Uh, this is a gigantic scone that I made from scratch. That recipe is meant to make about 12 scones, but instead of making tiny little scones, I decided to make one gigantic scone. Uh, and I also made two dozen fresh baked cinnamon rolls. Now these things are delicious. Of course, I didn't make them from scratch. They did come from cans, but I think they're still gonna be amazing. So I've got something to drink. Uh, I've got something to dip these things in just to help me uh, eat them a little bit faster. And, and there are so many carbohydrates, so much sugar on this table. And of course, we're gonna see how long it takes me to get through these 7,000 calories. All right, let's get it started. cinnamon rolls may not be made from scratch, but they are so warm, so soft and gooey, and that icing on top is so sweet. I mean, it is like the food equivalent of putting on a warm sweater. It's so comforting and warm and delicious. Who doesn't love cinnamon rolls? Seriously. I'm excited about this scone. Rich and buttery. I love scones. I feel like I might have overworked the dough just a little bit, but this is still pretty dang good.
Was trying to improve and get better with my baking notes of what I tasted and make sure that I'm not working the dough quite as much next time when I'm making scones. <laughs> All right, let's finish it off with this giant plate of 16 cinnamon rolls. One problem with these store-bought cinnamon rolls <laughs> is they get cold real quick. And when they get cold, they get a lot less tasty. They're still all right, still not bad, but not quite as good as they were straight out of the oven.
done. Oh, that was a hearty breakfast. <laughs> breakfast of champions. Now I'm ready to take on the day. Well guys, that was the uh, fresh baked breakfast challenge. I hope you got a kick out of that. Ah, oh, I know that was absolutely delicious. So until next time, peace out. You guys take it easy.